have my original birth certificate. Actually, I think it's my original birth certificate. My birth father sent this to me after I met him. And it doesn't, yep, it has a seal. It has the seal, New York State, right there. Actually, it's the Department of Health. Oh, okay, so I just received my birth certificate that I applied for in March of 2020, and I just got it. It's March, a year later, March 2021, from New York City Vital Records. So I'm going to open this, compare it with this, and see that... It's the same document or different. Here's my receipt. That costs $15. Notification of order of adoption. So I also received the City of New York Department of Health notification of order of adoption document. Wow, I never saw this. the Judiciary Law, Clerk of the Family Court of Nassau, granting the petition of Ronald and Diane Kapitowski to adopt a child alleged to have been born in the borough of Manhattan in the city of New York on March 5th, named Jeanette Cox. And there's always been a question because I have two N's in my name. Ah... Uh... The name on my birth uh, the name of my birth certificate is Jeanette Cox, J-E-A-N-N-E-T-T-E. -E. The order directs that the name of said child shall be changed to Jeanette with one N. It doesn't say that. It says J-E-A-N-E-T-T-E, -E, Shireen, my middle name, Kapitowski. May 22nd, 1979. That was when I was adopted. Okay, and here's my birth certificate. Yep, it has two N's in it. 156. Yep, it's the same. Look at that. Unsealed pre-adoption birth record. This is not the current record on file. Wow, look at that. Certificate of birth, though pre-adoption birth record. This is not the current record on file. Okay, so I have an amended birth certificate on file, but this is the original birth certificate. Yep, same names. Okay, okay. I did have a birth mother and I did have a birth father and here they are. Okay, we did it. Thank you to everyone who advocated for original birth certificates. This is a big deal for us adoptees, so thank you.